Okay, so we're continuing on with the previous videos, creating grappling hook in Construct 2. So, the next thing we need to do is add, let's, let's clone the cord and call it cord sprite. And to remove it from the physics, this will just um, this will just act like a like a placeholder or something like that. And we'll store information in it. Uh, let's get an instance variable wrap direction because we'll need to know which way the cord is wrapping around things. Also, let's add an event and start of layout and destroy the grappling and also destroy cord and destroy the cord sprite Also, let's give the player an instance value of grappling active, I guess, or grappling. Let's put grapple, just like that. Okay. Okay, bun state equals one, and player dot grapple equals zero and then we create the grappling hook we could also create a cord and also create cord sprite and then we set we set the player uh, grapple value to one. Then add an event below. Player that grapple equals one, and we press the button state again. Actually, we can put all this into a, a sub event. when that button is uh, pressed. Else, uh, set grapple to two. below compare to values player dot grapple equals two we want to retract the grapple so we um, apply a force use an angle of uh, Or dot angle plus 180 will be in the opt opposite direction and a uh, force amount 100 I guess uh, add a 
sub event if the grappling hook is um, overlapping the player then we destroy all of these set the grappling the grapple to zero Let's see what happens Okay, shoot it out. If I press it again, it should retract. Okay, it's not strong enough though, so we need to do something else. Let's see here on pre step. Um, on pre-step of the grappling hook, let's apply a force. Uh, the grappling is two. Let's uh, negate the force of gravity so that should do it there we go so now it's retracting it uh, probably don't need that um, probably don't need to negate the gravity but we'll leave it for now um, so now we need to figure out a way to wrap the cord around stuff. Okay, so when the cord, let's create a new event. When the cord collides with something, on post collide, if uh, add another condition, compare two values. If if um, the cord sprite dot x does not equal cord dot chip move dot contact point index zero or chord sprite dot I mean chord sprite dot y does not equal chord chipmunk contact point y if that's true um Set the chord sprite position to the chord dot chipmunk um, contact point X chord dot chipmunk contact point Y uh,
also need to change the, the chord set position. Instead of setting it to the player, you need to set it to the chord sprite. see what happens well See, it's kind of wrapping around, but we need to fix a few things. See that? I think we need a round, round this. Actually, we could just um, yeah, round it, round it. Because otherwise, I think it's like a floating point value, and it might might always be different. Around this set as well. Round, round. Okay, oops. Um, set position like that. Okay, um. See what it looks like. I copied those into there. Because there's like jumping, this weird jumping, uh, it like appeared for a second somewhere else. So I had to copy those events there so that it updates at the right time. Okay, so it seems to be working how it should. Every time it wraps, it needs to create another chord sprite. Create it at this position and do the same for Y, change the X to Y. Okay, set position. Position is already set because we set it when we create it. Pre-step here. 
add another condition, pick, we have to pick a, chord sprite, pick nth instance, chord sprite dot count minus one. That'll pick the last one that's been created. Oh, okay. I think I need to do something else as well. Whoops. <laughs> we need to pick the same one over here as well. So we need to set the width. Um, self to the to the contact point. For the chord that is before the or after the new one or before the new one gets created we need to readjust the width because you saw earlier how they were like going further than than they're supposed to see now it looks like it's wrapping a bit more or it's starting to So need to adjust the angle, set the angle to the contact point, oops, cancel, where's the contact point, contact point, rounded contact point, I could probably use like some some instance values instead of writing all this out, but whatever. Okay, so now it'll look a little bit better. It'll connect a little bit better, the lines. Let's try it again. See, it looks a bit better right in where it bends. See that? Okay, so next we need a grappling hook to go all the way back. <laughs> 